morning, you join us in our smart car. And we are going to take off the steering wheel today, aren't we, Gary? Well, I say we, Gary is. Um, he's worked this out. He's had it off, so he's got no excuse if he's in rubbish. He should have this sorted. Um, right, so we are going to show you how to take your steering wheel off. Why would you take your steering wheel off? You might upgrade it. This one's a little bit worn, and these all the all the sort of dimply finish has worn off the top, so you might be doing it for that. Um, or we're doing it because we want to try and upgrade the speakers and we've got to try and remove this dashboard and to do that you've got to take the steering wheel off it's a bit of an ordeal it turns out but right let's get on so basically what we're going to do is that there's a tricky little bolt that goes up in here and we remove it then we'll get the slip ring out and um, and I guess it, maybe if you wanted to change some of your indicator stalks and that I reckon you'd probably have to take it off for that right Gary's got everything laid out beautifully let's go and have a look at what we got we have got a pen and some masking tape, all will become clear, a torch, so we can see a Torx T30 um, for undoing some bolts. What applies for, yeah? Uh, to get a bit more leverage when you're taking the bottom bolt off. Oh, the bottom bolt off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you can't arm with it. And what is that? That's, what's that, a Torx? T40. T40, and we've got a little 10mm socket bollocks. What's that one for? For the battery. Yes. Yeah. Wise words. Re recommend Talk. disconnect the battery for like 10 minutes before you go mess around with the to airbag. Dissipate all the. Right, should we do that first then? Yep. Just need that, do I? Yep. I'll do the battery, you can do the rest. Right then. So, cunningly, they put the battery in these smart cars under here, which is kind of trick, really. Oh, look, I'll have my mat to need on it. There you go. Right, I just sort of. The carpet just sort of ripped forward from the front on that. And then we've got a sort of tool. Tool tray, it's still a bit wet under here, but that's mm -hmm. it looks like it's like it's been sort of someone's reduced the weight of that one. Yeah, <laughs> right now we should disconnect the earth first, that's what they say. We need to disconnect the earth, and we can see the earth is this one here. Oh, I've got a torch here so everyone can see that. It's almost like I prepared, Gary. Right, oh, look at that, that's all new world. Yeah, so this is the earth one with the brown wire here, and we put that on. Need to undo it fully. Cut the turn. All right, and we need to make sure that's somewhere it ain't going to spring back on and touch. So I reckon if I jam it back there, that ain't ever going to wriggle out of there and touch on there. So as Gary says, we should let that dissipate for five or ten minutes, just um, so the airbag system is all D, what do you call it? And it'll be, it's like it's blind. It won't know what we're doing mm. to it then, will it? Right, that's that done. Good job, Gary. Right, we're all cosy in our smart car. Right, so the first thing, the steering wheel on this car is on splines and you can get it when you reposition it, it could be any which way. So we're gonna try and attempt to, we've got the steering sort of straight now and we're gonna make a little bit of a mark on the cowling on the steering wheel. Um, we're using a bit of masking tape. So as close as you can get it to that bottom edge, Gary, cause you want, you're gonna have to line the two two up now again i'm not sure how accurate this will be but we'll we're making an attempt to we're gonna move it as we're undoing it but before we actually pull the steering wheel off we're gonna right there you go give that a good wrap i don't want it because this we've got to play with it all yeah. i'm gonna come back right and mark a line as straight as you can across there so that when you come to put it back on, you can at least have an attempt. You see what we're trying to do, to line those two up, yeah? Right, okay. That's our attempt. But when we take it off finally, we'll double check. That's right. Right then, Gary, here you go. You've got a Torx T40 there. And there's a little <laughs> hole up in under there, isn't there? Now, you can move a steering wheel. As long as you re-put it, put, put it, yeah, you can tip it this way. Let me have a look. There it is, there's a little hole there. All right, so you can get it to whatever, as long as when you put it back, before we take it off, Gary, is you, you put it back to the position you want. Now, yeah, you can't get a normal, because of uh, the, um, it's quite a narrow little channel, it's going up in a little mm. hole, so you can't get like a normal socket in there. Yeah. So we've got, so that's why he was going to use the pliers, because cause it's loose. Now, it's a funny old bolt, it, you he says you only have to undo it a couple of turns, but I'd undo it a good three or four turns, Gary. I can't yeah. see there's any harm in, in undoing that. Okay. Right, I reckon that'll do. Yeah. Right, and then, right, line it up. Make sure it's lined up again. Check your lines are in line. And then give it a wiggle. 
Now, if it if it's sticking again, I'd I, I'd have a go on that bolt again, Gary. Or is it coming? Yeah. Do it a little bit more, yeah. And maybe maybe have it point in a different way because I'm not sure they're hitting a flat on it. Yeah, do a couple more. All right, try that. That's gone loose again now, has it? There you go. Try a bit top to bottom. No, no, try that bolt again then. Right, Asic. So there's one internet site that said you only have to undo it a couple of turns that Gary found, but, but that's rubbish because then when you go to lift the steering wheel off, it's kind of tight. So you want to just keep winding and winding and winding. I mean, not forever, but like, give it, it wants about, give it a good 10 turns at least. There you go. Oh, that sounds like it, something's clicking. Right, and give it a gentle, try that, give it a gentle pull. But if you feel it go a little bit and then stick, then you, the bolt's not. No, the bolt's still gripping, give it a bit more. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. But, but you, right, you want to pull really slowly, go, because if you pull it too far, you'll pull the slip ring out. Now you see you've got a little connection in there, so what's the trick with that, Gary? So, you got, I think that's the airbag one with the red yeah. thing. You, there's like a lever you got to get down on one end that should release it. Yeah, show us that when it's, it's out. Yeah. Is it on Is it on the bottom there, is it? Yeah, so you push Hold down. On. Yeah, push down push on that, that and that's the release pin. Yeah, should lift up that edge there. Yeah, got that. And this one just pulls out and there's that little tab at the end there. Yeah, got that. So they've both got little release twing. And the idea is then, so the, interestingly, the slip ring comes off, or if I poke the camera at the right place, the slip ring comes off now, um, complete with the with the steering wheel. Um, so we'll go and, right, so let's have a look. We'll show you how to strip down the steering wheel and move the airbag in a minute. Um, and obviously when you move it off, make sure that that, when you're just doing that final pull off, make sure there, because you can see this is splined and you could get it on slightly rotated. Um, that's all we need to look at there. Right, let's go over on the bench. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got, what have we got, Gary? Oh, we've got to remove this back cover, haven't we? Now, we've had it off once already, but it, it did take quite a pull, didn't it? You think you're going to break yeah. something. Let's have a look where the actual clips are. When, when we get that off, keep my bit of masking tape stuck on so where ah so it's got these little sort of three plastic there's they've got like the, these three little bits on the clips so you've got one there one there so you've got them all round so you do just need to pull you're not going to break anything it's just those little ends of those clips spread they they sort of go zoop, and so when you pull them off they got to right so there we go now this is interesting so this is you can see the bolt here so that's the bolt that went in and and actually there we go look you can actually withdraw that all the way now the the um you can see the bolt is stepped and tapered so in theory you should be able to get it onto the narrow section and it should be okay but it does also pop out hold on where am i showing you there right so that where did that come out that comes out of that so that's what you're doing there so you probably don't need to take it all the way out but be careful right gary's colored these torques these are torques t30s and they'll release the airbag. But the airbag is still connected to the slip ring. So. Right, yeah, other screws there. Let's have a look then. Now it will still be connected, won't it? So we'll have yeah. to be a bit. You can lift that out carefully. Careful with airbags, obviously. Yeah. Is that gonna is that coming? It is kind of a bit loose. Should you take this front bit off? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll see what we can see what we're doing. So that this little horn push bar does just unclip. Get that out of the way. There's a little like a little it's just like a push fit electrical connector. Let's just have a little zoom in on that. So he's literally just a sort of round cylindrical connector that goes over the end of the horn push there all right so yeah and underneath you've got your main airbag connector now there's no tab on that that just that just pulls off directly like so so that's your airbag so 
There's your airbag, keep that safe. Um, and then you've got your slip ring. Now there's an earth thing here. Now that sort of just pulls out. It's got some barbs on it, so you might damage a little bit. We got a screwdriver out the first time we took it out and levered it out a bit like that. Um, that's all the other connections. Now the slip ring is held on with these three. Again, it uses those same little plastic thing. So you just have to sort of push, push those black. Now I, yeah, I used the head of a screwdriver before, yeah. Yeah, I sort of hold the steering wheel up off the ground and then give them a little knot and just push those through if you can. Well, let me hold the slip ring. Yeah, that one's tight. Like that. Yeah, now let's try and push them through with that tool. That's it. I'll put your arm in the way, go. There you go. All right, and then gently feed those wires through. And that is the, that's the slip ring remover. And so there's everything stripped down. That should hopefully help you. That's everything stripped down on a smart 450 4.2 steering wheel. So good luck with that.